Yesterday afternoon a magnitude 7 earthquake occurred at Vanuatu. In case you missed the previous forecast video, we mentioned Vanuatu based on atmospheric fluctuations that we picked up on the 7th. We usually take one to five days for an atmospheric fluctuation to take effect. It was one day and admittedly we were late with the forecast. We actually wanted to publish that on the 7th, but we had technical problems with the new setup, the new format that we use to present the forecasts. A magnitude 7 earthquake and I explained the critical planetary geometry, in particular the dashed lines, that is normally less significant but I also explained that in September, on September 10th, we had a magnitude 7.5 earthquake and that was also preceded a day earlier by pretty much the same critical planetary geometry. And if you look carefully, you will see that we see dashed lines with a purple and red peak. If the red peak is above, that means that's Mercury above and Venus below. If we look further, we see the second dashed peak with the purple peak above and the red peak below. These are Mercury and Venus converging with critical planetary geometry and exactly the same thing happened on the 10th of September last year. Coincidentally, both cases, yesterday and September 10th last year, the critical planetary geometry coincided with full moon. We do not have enough earthquake reports to build reliable statistics whether or not the full moon is an, an indicator or is a factor, but the critical planetary geometry is recognized and we actually added this last November to the SGI graph. So this is fairly new. This is also the reason why I said yesterday it is possible that there will be larger seismic activity, possibly later on the 8th, most likely around the 9th. Well, it happened yesterday afternoon and it's very well possible that we will not have additional larger seismic activity today. We also see on this SGI graph that the 5.9 borderline 6 magnitude earthquakes on the 5th and 6th, they actually preceded, or sorry, they followed the critical geometry that occurred a day earlier, which was the reason why we said the 5th and the 6th would be more critical. And here we see on this SGI graph the correlation between critical planetary geometry and larger seismic activity. Sometimes we only have borderline 6, and this is very much because of the condition of Earth's crust. We do not know the amount of stress between faults. A fault section needs to be at a critical amount of stress in order for larger seismic activity to occur. And by the way, to yesterday, that actually happened. But with the critical geometry that we had earlier in the week, we only see a 5.9 and a 6 magnitude earthquake. And that is determined by the amount of stress. So sometimes we have critical planetary geometry and not much of a seismic increase. And at other times we have a major earthquake. In case you missed the forecast yesterday, I mentioned the critical planetary geometry that we are going to have on the 10th that will be Mercury, Venus and Saturn in a conjunction and it will coincide with critical lunar geometry also with Saturn. And here we see actually the Moon and the Earth and the Moon is pointing towards Saturn. That pretty much is going to coincide on the 10th and we could see a larger seismic activity 12, 13, 14 as a result. But again, it very much depends on the condition of Earth's crust. This is an additional update. Thanks for watching. Until next time.